Hello everyone, and welcome back. So. I, uh... Realized that I lost a couple of videos here while uploading things to YouTube. I believe it was 16, 17, and 18. Those three videos, about three hours of recording, just lost because uh, I did not realize, but uh, YouTube apparently has like a limit of five videos at a time you can upload or something. It used to be you could just upload however goddamn many you wanted, but apparently they changed it at some point and I didn't realize. So I had thought that I had gotten those all uploaded, but I didn't. And so I deleted them permanently before realizing that. So. The previous video, part 20, I had recorded after I tried to upload the rest of them. And before realizing that, so that's why that one, it seems like I do not, didn't bring it up at all. And uh, 19 as well, I had, uh, it was part of the group that I was uploading. I don't know why it uploaded 19, but not 18, 17, or 16. Uh, but whatever, that's weird. So, uh... That's how that's going on. So this is the first video where I realized that that did not work out. So, uh, yeah. I don't think much really happened in those videos that I remember. Um, I don't, I don't know if those were the police station videos or what they were. But uh, anyway, the main problem is that video twenty and video nineteen has survived. So we were able to see the downfall of the black truck that we went down here with and lost right here. So I'm getting to the point where I'm like, well, there's not much else exciting we can really do, right? We're sustained on food and basically water. So I think our only goal right now is to get that black truck back. And once we do that, I think we'll end this little series and then I'll start a new Zomboid series. Since I, I'm more confident with stuff, we'll probably start up, maybe we just start up here in Louisville, the, the huge city, and uh, try to survive there. And we'll tweak the zombie settings to make it a little more uh, entertaining and stuff, right? So I don't know how many more videos we're gonna be making of this. But we will be making some. So, first of all, since my truck had my wrench and my propane stuff with it, let's go ahead and grab this stuff. How much that got in it? Okay, let's grab this one too. Might as well. We got our carrying all these uh, strawberries. Go ahead and dump them in here. Boop. All right, perfect. And then, yeah, I picked up those logs that I have not yet done anything with. I'll just drop them here. There we go. Okay. So our goal for right now is we're going to go take a look at the uh, two large vans that are up kind of northwest of us. Also, don't know if I mentioned it, but I had whitened this because I was tired of ramming into stuff, so. As you can see, Sunday Driver, we are definitely moving a little slower. I'm tired of running into stuff, he says, as he runs into something. And again. Okay, anyway. Let's go to those two panel vans. I think this one is just directly up the road. The first one is anyway. And we'll see what we need to scrap there. Uh, things. So we, we need an engine, probably a hood and a windshield at the very minimum for getting that truck down there up and running. So the more parts we have, the easier it'll be. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to park my taxi here. 
hop on out. Let's kill these dang zombies before we, uh... Oop. I, uh, passed right through them. Okay. Also, I'm gonna smoke real quick because my melee damage just went down. By 10% there. So that is not ideal. Okay. All right, are we clear at the moment? I do believe we are. Let's check it out. Okay, so the engine here is pretty good condition. To take the parts and to repair it, we're going to need one more mechanics, it looks like. Okay, that's fine. I should also probably get a battery just in case, because the battery could potentially um, have gone bad. I'm just going to uninstall pretty much everything from this that we can without having to get in the hood and whatnot. And then I'm just going to drop what we do not need. Car battery. Uh... This radio I'm going to dismantle so I can get some electrical experience. Everything else I think I need a jack and stuff for. I mean, I guess I could try to uh, uninstall the hood. There we go. And then let's uninstall the windshield too. All right. Where is the windshield? There it is. All right, so we're just going to store that stuff in the trunk here. Um, that way, we have it there. And if we do find something better, we can, of course, swap it out. Uh, but the light bulbs I'm going to keep just so uh, they're there. Uh, everything else, I think I, I don't really have a problem with on the other truck. That's the thing, is I do not know actually how much uh, problem the truck has. Because we weren't able to exactly sit there and look, right? Alright, here's a good battery. We'll, we'll use this one for our new truck. At least I think I can use this battery. It's a car type standard. I don't think I can use that actually then. I will save that though. I can use that for my uh, collection of other car parts. Go ahead and uninstall all these. And then let's take the hood. Perfect. Let's quickly stash this stuff in the taxi. go. I'm just gonna put the light bulbs in the uh, thing here, and then let's go ahead and dismantle this radio. I guess I can just put all the electronics and stuff here into the glove box, since it weighs like barely anything. There we go. Alright. Back to this little car here. Oh. Uh, let's get the windshield glass. Why not? I could take the engine parts from this. Go ahead and do that. Excellent. Okay. How much is that way? Not bad. I'm not sure if I need the same uh, engine parts as the corresponding vehicle, you know? That's fine. Oh wait, shit, I just remembered something. I don't think we have red mechanics yet, but we're not even getting the bonus experience we would normally be getting. Right, if I open up my uh, skills. 
Yeah, we didn't read mechanics, so we we gained literally like 31 from all of that. Uh, okay, let's go back home. We'll read the book. Then we can come back here and continue taking the vehicles apart. You hate to see it. Barely even touched that guy, and he was like four miles back. I think there was also one of the, um, I think it was a white panel truck uh, in that kind of like intersection with all the burned cars. Remember that? I think I vaguely remember one there. I don't know how I'm still getting stuck on these damn things. Whatever. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab the stuff that we took from here. Can. There we go. I think everything else in here is like electrical stuff, so that's fine. Go ahead and put the electrical stuff back into here. I, I think I put a water bottle in there. I did. Okay. I'm just gonna throw this into the storage here. Light bulb, light bulb, light bulb. Put the light bulbs into there. Okay. Right, let's grab our mechanics book. We need the mechanics three book, I do believe. Which we read, so it's in this one now. All right. Read. And we're going to sit on the ground so we don't get as tired. And then we're just going to give time. All right, so we just need one more step in mechanics. And we should be able to take out the engine. We'll have to not only take apart one of those engines in the uh, larger trucks, but also make sure we can repair the engine in one of those larger trucks. Because maybe that one requires six mechanics or something. I don't know. But we just got to be sure before we do anything. Because I don't want to go all the way down there and be like, oh, we, uh, we fucked up, right? Ridiculously tired. Okay. Put this book away. I'm going to eat some strawberries or whatever is the first food we find. This one. Broccoli, tomato, another broccoli, another tomato. There we go. All right. Get upstairs, sleep, and we'll head back out to do some more taking apart of vehicles. Hell yeah, brother. And there's the alarm. And it's foggy. That's great. Okay, so hopefully now that we have the three times experience multiplier bonus, it won't take us nearly as long to take stuff apart. Oh, hold on. Just remembered we have stuff in the trunk. Turning on my headlights help here. 
Nope, it's just gonna be very, very dark. Okay. You know, I might stop, stop at these two cars here. And, uh... Just take them apart if I can. Because really, we just need the experience to, uh... Do some stuff, and... I know they're gonna have really, really shit uh, stuff, but that just means that I can take it apart and drop it on the ground without having to worry too much about taking it, right? I already took the battery out. The engine needs engine condition 9 out of 5, so I'd have to repair it before I could take it apart, huh? Okay. What about the headlights? Those aren't installed. The glove box, I can't do anything with that. Um, let's uninstall the right rear seat, I guess. And then the front right seat. Then I'll go ahead and just drop those two on the ground. Right like that. Uh, that's missing, that's missing. The front right tire, I need my jack for that of course we're at 52 experience right now right okay let's remove the front right door that got me to 68 experience Ugh. not having a good day all right so i can't take the tires that stuff's gone can't remove the trunk uninstall the muffler Uh, let's uninstall the gas tank. Drop that stuff on the ground. Uh, let's uninstall the other side doors. That's my health looking pretty good. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I can loot on this a loot, but I guess the uh, rear right side, nope. It seems to be empty. There's something in the right rear seat. The seat is occupied. Is there a zombie in there or something? Ah, oh, so there's something in these back seats? The seat is missing. Of course it is. Give me one of these seats. The front right seat, we're going to install this seat again. Because we uh, need to get into the car to see what's in the other seats. Oh, it's just a bunch of junk that I had previously put in here when I took it apart. Right. Okay, now I can get out. Drop this stuff on the ground. There we go. All right now I can take out the driver's side seat and all that good jazz. And then the rear left seat. There we go. So that's everything on this. Uh, pretty much taken apart that I could access. Um, does, can I just take the trunk lid out? So I can do it from here. I can't take the trunk itself out, but I can take the trunk lid out. Okay. All right, next vehicle. All right, we got some stuff in here. Let's take out the... Mm -hmm. Car key is required, saying. Why? I didn't need the car key for the other one. At least I don't think I have a car key for it, right? It would tell me if I was if I had the car key. weird. Hmm. I tried looking it up, but I don't see a, a reason why I would, uh, Need car keys for specific vehicles. 
At least in the couple seconds that I took a look, there might be some deeper reasoning. Um, if I could find it, but. Dang, fog. Oh, she's gonna be hit. There you go. I believe there was that panel van up here. We could try to take it apart. Let me equip my machete. Friends over here. Got him. All right. I don't know if there's anyone else around now, right? Nope. There's one there. Hey, friend. All right. We couldn't find keys to this one, but maybe we can do stuff to it, huh? Okay. So I can uninstall from this one for some reason. That's a heavy-duty battery. I think we can actually use that for the truck, yeah? Oh, there's another zombie. Fuck. Okay. Let's uninstall the headlights. Uninstall the radio. And I take the engine parts. No, the mechanics four. Okay, so I think this does classify as one of the larger types, so that's good. Uninstall the hood. And let's uninstall the windshield. We're gonna take some damage here, but that's fine. Oh, we failed to take the windshield, that's fine. Whatever. Not like I wanted to or anything. Okay. We'll try to take it again after we uh, disassemble their radio. Okay. Uninstall the windshield, even though we damaged it a little bit when we were messing with it. I will uninstall this motherfucker, listen. Listen. Got it, okay. So it's eight pounds there. How much lighter does it get if I put it in here? A lot lighter, actually. Okay. Um. What else can I take apart? The windows, I guess. And I can take the, the door. Not that, the, the door. The door. Where's the doors? Front right door. Uninstall. It was in bad quality. I'll drop that stuff. I'm not going to worry too much about uh, dealing with uh, doors and windshields for the truck. I just don't really care enough to do that. gas tank, and then the muffler. Oh, the heater. Can I take that apart? Nope. Okay. Um. Took that stuff apart. The tail lights. And then the seats. There we go. We'll just toss them on the ground. Perfect. Okay. That's everything I can take apart at the moment, so... I could go back home and get a jack and stuff, but... Do I really want to? Uh, that's a 42% windshield. I don't know about that, Chief, but I'll move it anyway. We're moving along a little bit. Not really as much as I'd like to see, you know. All right, let's take apart this car.
Okay. Battery first. Then the radio. Battery's gonna get dropped. Um, let's see. Let's do the hood next. And then we'll do the windshield. Perfect. Can I fit either of those in here? No. Into the car then. Now, I don't need this particularly for my truck, right? But I could use this scrap stuff for uh, my other vehicles to, to patch them up and whatnot. Go ahead and dismantle this radio to get our electronics up a little bit. All right, back to this. We'll do the front headlights. Anything else at the front of the car? The engine. Take engine parts. There we go. Cool. Um, let's go around to the, the right side and we'll take the window and then the door. Those are actually pretty decent quality. I don't know if I want to remove them. Uh, what about the front right seat? That's a bad quality one. I'll, I'll throw that away here. Those were okay quality. These ones, however, were not. The rear windows. Where did it go? Rear window, there it is. And then this door is also garbage, so we're just going to take it out. Throw it on the ground. Um, and then we'll take the rear right seat out, which was 58%. Yeah, I don't care about those. All right, then let's take the muffler, which is actually okay condition. And I failed, so that's not great. Got it that time. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can put it in the taxi here. So does any of this fit into here? A little bit will fit into that one. Perfect. All right, what about this one? What do I need for that? 10 pounds? Muffler will fit in there. The door also needs 10 pounds, which means it can't fit into here. Let's take the windshield back and we'll put the door in here, because then that's 20 equally on that. And then, does any of these have eight pounds? That's just a little bit over. That's five pound limit. Hmm. Let me put some of this stuff away, maybe? Just so I have a little more space. I'm not seeing all this stuff here. Ow, my, my leg. Ah, oh, my leg. I just cracked it in a weird position. Okay, Um. yeah, we'll just toss that into there. I think the only other things we're going to want off this car would be uh, this window, that door, maybe that door. Fuel tank's not going to matter at all to us anyway. Okay. Let's hop out. Start with the fuel tank. Got it. All right. Fuel tank, uh, we're going to drop that on the ground because it's garbage. This is a 72% window. I'll take it. Uninstall the door. Go ahead and put the window in my backpack. And then we'll put the door in my backpack. Which won't fit, of course, because why would it? Let's take out the rear left seat. I'll we'll go ahead and drop that on the ground. Then the tail lights right. Good catch. Alright, then we're gonna go to the front left window. And then the front left door, which window is shit quality. I'm gonna drop the door, and so we can take out the uh, the rear windshield, which is actually fairly decent condition. There we go. Can I fit that in here? I can. Excellent. And then. I'm getting hungry and stuff. Uh, trunk lid. Let's take that out. Okay. 
I think that's everything from this car. Let me just hop in the vehicle here. I think when I'm in the vehicle, I'm not taking damage, so that's great. Yeah, everything from here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back home, drop this stuff off, and we'll go up further and start continuing to take stuff apart. We're about halfway through the mechanics, so that's great. Hopefully we can uh, a little bit faster. You know what, maybe um, after this trip back to the house, unless we have something that's like over 80% quality, we just won't take it. So we don't have to get overweight and whatnot. Everything else we'll just drop or maybe just store in the vehicle's trunk if it's decent quality and we'll just kind of note down that, oh, this was a good quality thing that we left here. Also, this taxi needs fuel. fit in here? It should. Light bulbs. Uh, the battery can go into there. Nope. Battery can go into this one. So that's everything out of that. What else do we have in the car? A bunch of electronics, right? Okay. Hood. Have this stuff here. Which, yeah, we can't carry now. Okay. That makes sense. That away. That away. Those in there. Put these in here. Light bulbs can go into there, too. Front type window can go into there. Okay. Let's more into the car so we can grab this stuff. Did we have anything in the glove box? We did not. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's put the electronics away, eat, and just do our thing there. Amplifier and the aluminum. I'm just going to throw the aluminum in here, too, because I don't want to put it in the metal box. That's just annoying. Okay. One thing we do need to do right now... Fill up our water bottles as well. I think we still have some water in here. Yep. Fill everything. Make a little stuff out of that. Luckily, it seems like we keep our bathtub filled, so that's good news, I suppose. All right. Eat. 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 There we go. All right, discomfort. A little bit sad. A little bit stressed. Well, let's smoke a cig then. Perfect. Lighter away. We are getting to the point where it is a little bit late. We should be getting tired. Why aren't we?
I can sleep anyway, so that's great. Let's, let's go ahead and sleep before it uh, starts giving us the sleep effects. I was, uh... Hoping to go a little bit longer than that, but fine. Alright, let's equip our machete. Uh, that should be everything out of the taxi here. But like I said, we're going to plan on... Um, heading up to another vehicle, anything with under 80% uh, stuff on it we're not going to take. We don't really need to. Honestly, I should be grabbing the jack and stuff so I can take tires and stuff off too, but that's fine. So this, this is Sunday Driver. I think this is fine. If I'm going too fast, it's uh, harder to maneuver. It takes forever to brake, which could lead to problems. I can do that while holding down W and not having to hit the brake at all. So I like Sunday Driver. I don't think I need to go too fast, right? It's just going to take us a while to go down to get our uh, black truck. Okay. I'm gonna go kill this zombie before he starts wandering over and wondering what we're doing. There we go. Any other zombies around? That one over there? I think that should be fine. Okay, this one's in decent condition, but most of this stuff is not the condition we need it to be in, so. I guess I'm going to keep the spare engine parts, though. Those probably don't matter. Because uh, there's not, like, a, a durability for them, so... Let's assemble this radio. Perfect. I'm just going to put this stuff in my backpack to keep it. Cool. Uh, let's take out this windshield on the ground, you know, the usual. Um, let's go around to... I'm gonna go around the left side first, because that zombie's over there on the north. In the front right door. Left door, I should say. In the driver's seat. Drop him on the ground. There we go. All right. Let's keep moving back. Got the rear window here. Then we can take out the gas tank too while we're at it. I failed that, but that's okay. Fail it again. And again. And we got it. There we go. Drop that on the ground. Let's take out the rear windshield. Or, it's not windshield, it's uh, something else this time. But, they got the trunk lid as well. Now, the trunk lid, I think I'll keep. Because it is over 80%. Um, we can get the tail lights. We can get... The muffler here. So we can get the muffler. There we go. <clears throat> and we're just going to drop it on the ground. And we have the uh, rear right window. And the front right window. The front right door. And we can just drop all this stuff here on the ground. They got the front right seat. And apparently there were rear seats too, I did not realize that. And we can just drop all those. I think that's everything on this car taken apart that we can possibly take apart without having to get a jack. So, excellent. Let's walk away triumphantly. Find the next car on our list. 
Which I believe the next panel ban is, is up north of us here, so that's fine. Car the vehicle, please. Thank you. Should be up in this parking lot. Maybe I just can't see it from the position I'm in here, right? Yeah, okay. I actually thought it was up here. Hmm. One second, let me get up my machete, because I forgot to fucking do that before. You fucking bite me, you piece of shit. I'm not bitten, which is nice. Severe laceration, though. As long as I'm not bitten, that's okay. Three more zombies here. Try to bite me, sir. What? Ooh, we got a camera we can take apart. You guys have any keys on you? Nope. What about these other zombies? Maybe they have some keys on them for these vehicles, huh? Choker with a sapphire stone, huh? That's an interesting... Thing, I guess. Alright. I believe that's everything there. So let's head over to this white van. The parts for... Oh my god! Everything's fucking green here. Like everything. Shit. I'm gonna dismantle this stuff real quick. So it's uh, out of my way. Put that in the backpack. Actually, let's walk over to my uh, taxi here. Take all this and put it in here. Because pretty much anything on this truck we're going to take uh, if we can get it out in fairly decent condition. So let's do that. And actually, I'm going to move my vehicle closer so I don't have to Keep opening and closing the... the... The hood on this thing. Ow. Damn it. Such a bad driver. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, so, first of all, the battery. Why, why do I need the car key for this? No fucking wonder I didn't pick this one fucking clean. Of course, there's no key inside of it either. Ah. Uh. I can't fucking believe this. This is like the truck we need. And it has all the good parts on it. Why did I smash the rear windshield if I uh, couldn't get into it? Oh, so I can... Oh, so now I can. Okay, so I just had to, I guess, break the window on the driver's side in order to get in? Weird. I think the fence is in my way. Um, hold on a second. Um, can I not remove this?
way too close. No, come on. Don't do this. Yeah, I can't get to it from here. Okay, I can do the stuff on the side, though, at least. So, uh... The... Front left door. I'm going to install that. If I actually want to get to, I can't, of course. That's how that's going to go. Okay. Uh, the rear door. Got it. Go ahead and put this stuff into the trunk of my taxi. But of course, you cannot hold it because why the fuck would I be able to do that? Where's the glove box? Oh my god. That was 20 fucking pounds. Okay. Oh, I got in the rear seat. That's why I couldn't do anything there. We have a jack, though. It means we can... Well, but we can't even take that stuff off because we'd have to... Yeah. We would have to have a lug nut to get the, the, the uh, tires off. Okay, well... Okay, well, we can go around this side and take the window out. And then the door. Perfect. Um, can I get the radio from here or do I have to go around to the front? Oh, oh, we have a zombie, so let's walk away. You got in your head, dude. This was just big hair. Okay. That can go into there. Go into there. Let's try and get everything else we can that is uh, in here. God, it has a lot of gasoline in it still. Uninstall the muffler. Uh, I did not get it, of course. Got it. Let's uninstall the... Oh, there's no, like, trunk thing. Okay. Get the tail lights out. Um... I can't do anything with the gas tank because it's still full. Um, I can get the front right seat out, though. There we go. I'm gonna get in the car. I don't think I can put this seat anywhere else now. Okay. Light bulbs can fit in there, though. I do need to... Why am I still overweight? Put that in the backpack, then. There we go. Let's go ahead and take the gas out of this. Second gasoline. Okay. Add gasoline. Siphon gasoline. I'll just take the gas out of this truck, put it into my taxi for now. Pretty much as much as I can. Are we out of gas now? That's unfortunate. Ugh, okay, um, how much more gas does this baby have? Fuck, I need to do that. It has so much more fucking fuel in it. Shit, okay. Real quick, I'm going to take this first aid kit, equip it in my secondary, because it has a suture and stuff into it. Let's go ahead and remove this bandage. 
disinfect with alcohol wipes real quick and then bandage normally. There we go. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could suture it or not, but it looks like I uh, do not need to drop that. You win for now, truck. I'll be back. Really? My engine was green before. Now it's yellow just because I love tapped a little thing, huh? Okay, so if we go... Yeah, okay, let's go down this way. I think I'll bring a different car up this time. Just, uh... See what we can do. The taxi doesn't seem to have that much storage space, which is unfortunate for the taxi, but uh, maybe. We can pull something else off. Excuse you? Did I not kill the last zombie that we left? Is that what that was? Let's just ignore that for right now, then. Um... I'm gonna store this so I'm not overweight anymore. Okay. Go ahead and place this gas can there. And then down in this put the suture needle the alcohol wipes okay let's eat something before we get too hungry here there we go Okay. Let me grab a... Oh, the lug wrench is outside. Right. Duh. <clears throat> Might as well smoke while we're here, too. why I came up here. Right, we wanted to uh, clean our bandages and then fill our water. Let's also drink out of the bathtub. Perfect, there we go. Okay. I'm just going to put one for pain torch away because they are... They weigh a pound, so if I can get rid of one, that's pretty decent. Alright, um, hmm, Just let's unload the taxi of what it's got. I'm going to try and put it into my backpack so it doesn't weigh as much. Hey, bud. Well, he really came out of nowhere.
I'm just gonna kind of pack stuff where it'll go. Build the crates as much as possible. Any more zombies out there? Door. Rear doors are 20 fucking pounds, though, man. I think I'll just do one thing at a time here, so I'm not spending a whole lot of time injuring myself when I'm already low health, you know. Those two doors. Put those into here. Perfect. like the last like couple rows here probably going to be where I'm storing all the heavy duty parts we're going to want and need okay I don't know why I was deciding it didn't want to start but okay all right um you know what let's come over here Can I repair? Because I remember this truck. I think the main problem with it right now was that it was uh, a little bit damaged in the tr thing here. Yeah, I need five for that one too because it's also heavy duty. You see, I'll probably take this truck down. Uh, so once we can actually repair the truck, we'll take the truck down in order to uh, do that. So go ahead and put these engine parts back. Grab the lug wrench so we can take the tires off the truck. Okay. So how much space do we have in the back of this? 28. 11. 25. But I think this only has yeah, one extra seat, so... Technically the taxi is still the one I can hold the most. If we discount this truck that <coughs> I can't even use. Speaking of, um, I think the reason I can't access the trunk because of the damaged trunk lid, right? If I take the trunk lid off and I just throw it on the ground, um, I can now access the trunk, which has a tissue paper in it. Yay! Get that the hell out of there. But I'd have to also repair the trunk in order to do anything there. I'm working on a mechanics. You know what? So we are missing a trunk lid, a windshield, a rear windshield, the engine's bad, and the trunk is damaged, and so is the hood. Can I repair the hood or do I have to just replace it? I can repair it. Okay. Let's grab some metal sheets, some screws. Okay, metal sheets and uh, was that well, screws, right? Not nails? Yeah, screws. Okay. Let's see if I can repair that truck to get the rest of my mechanics without going out. Okay. Um. I believe screws were in here, so let's grab those. And we'll take one box as well. And then metal sheets are here. Let me grab a few of them. I think this box right here also had metal sheets in it, yep. Grab a couple of small ones too, just in case. All right, let's go try to repair it. All right, 
Trunk. Repair. Metal sheet. There we go. I'm going to repair it further. There we go. Do one more time. Okay. Repair. Go ahead and repair the, the hood. Nice, nice. Do it again. Perfect. Okay, that stuff's looking good. Um, anything else that's really low? The engine, which I cannot repair yet, because I need the next level there. Oh. Uh, can I repair a window? No. I can repair a, an actual door, though, right? No, oh, can I can just uninstall them. Oh. Can I repair... Nope. The only things I can repair are like the, the front and the back, huh? Okay. I gotcha. Let's go grab a couple of light bulbs and stuff. Shrunk lid type standard. Hood type standard. We do need another trunk. Um, the truck lid type standard. Average muffler. Uh, hood type heavy duty. Battery standard. There we go. Let's grab a light bulb and a light bulb. Okay, and then. Did I get rear door types? Okay. Wait. I need a windshield heavy duty. Do I have one of those? Windshield type heavy duty. There we go. put this baby in. Windshield install. Oop. It's not the greatest quality, but it is a quality. There we go. Those have light bulbs in them now. Um. Wait, didn't I put the... I guess it failed. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then I need a rear windshield, but that's fine. What if I... What, what did I just press? I don't know what I just did there. Well, I have the broken trunk lid. What if I try to install it? So I can't. It also says just trunk lid. So if I come over to this vehicle, we have a trunk lid here. I can repair it. Let's repair it. Cool. Now let's uninstall this trunk lid. Oops. I hit the, the wrong button there. Okay, now let's come back over to here. Eh. Trunk lid install. Oh, so there is a different standard to it. Okay. I'll just reinstall this trunk lid then. Net me a little bit of experience. Okay, let's replace our bandage real quick. Hopefully it's not... Yep, it's still severe. So I need the rear windshield type heavy duty and the trunk type heavy duty. Okay. Um, 
Goblin type. Windshield type standard. Hood type heavy duty. Uh, hood type standard. Windshield type heavy duty. Seat. Trunk lid type standard. Rear doors. Front type heavy. Hmm, okay. Well, I can't put a lid on the trunk, but I think the trunk will at least let me do stuff with it now. God, we're so close to having that next one. We also did uh, get infected there, it does look like. Um, One second. I'm just looking at what the laceration severe means here. Just means longer healing. Okay, you only need stitches if it's a deep wound. Just wanted to make sure on that. Um, let's take some painkillers. I'm going to grab a bottle of disinfectant. I'm going to grab some more bandages. Uh, we're going to take the bandage and we're going to disinfect it. Might as well disinfect all of them. Okay. I think we're done with the uh, metal stuff that we had here, so just pass it back into here. There we go. Uh, the box of screws can go into here. There. All right, let's head upstairs real quick. I'm going to, first of all, fill our water bottle. Clean the dirty bandage that we got. I'll drink a little bit. All right, so we're going to take the bandage off, disinfect it again, and then put on a sterilized bandage. There we go. So that should hopefully help us with uh, that infection there, and we won't get sick from it. I'll just pass this stuff back into here. Okay. problem right now is that we don't really have a good way to move that car. I'm going to go ahead and transcribe everything into the journal here that we learned just so we don't have to do all this mechanic work again in case we die. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat and sleep here. Excuse me, huh? There we go. All right, let's sleep this off. Hopefully, not have to have any problems. There is nothing too much pain to sleep. Isn't that why I took the painkillers, though? Where are my sleeping pills at? Here are they all. Big pills. Okay. Ready, set, go. We're no longer infected. That's good. We still have that damn deep laceration. And with our slow healing perk, it's gonna take a little while to fix that too. So let's just go ahead and smoke a cig. All right, so we are like 
171 point, well, I guess 70 point something experience away from that. We also need to, before we can take the gas tank out of the white vehicle, drain it of gas. So do we have spare gas cans anywhere here? No. Okay. I believe I have some spare ones in the trunks of some of these cars, right? That's a full gas can. Full gas can. Pretty sure I didn't leave any in this trunk here. It just has messed up in it, huh? Okay. All right, give me this gas can then. And then add gasoline from the gas can. Add gasoline from the gas can. And if we look at the gas can here, it's still basically full. These need gas in them. There we go. Okay, that's empty now. All right, so I guess we're taking the taxi back out because that's the thing that has the highest amount of uh, storage space. We're going to be taking tires and all that other stuff with us. You know, if we had a key for the white van, we wouldn't have to go back and get the black one. We could just take the white one down there, leave the black one down there, and then, you know, do that. But I just realized something. Hold on. Any zombies around, first of all? Huh? 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 No? Okay. I'm going to smash the front left window. Because now I can actually take this fucking vehicle apart. Because apparently that's all you need to actually do that, is to smash the front window. I cannot believe I did not know that until now. But yeah, I might as well do that to, uh level up my stuff a little bit further. Radio, take that. Take these headlights out. Mm, anything else from the front? Not really. Go around to the back side then. Got it. Got the gas can. Perfect. Um, let's grab the rear. Well, hold on. I'm gonna drop this stuff because it's uh, getting a little heavy now. Okay. Let's disassemble this radio. Earth. I'm gonna put this stuff in my backpack since it uh, takes up space and I can't really see what I'm doing here. I need the rear left window. The rear, I guess we'll do the front right window as well. Oh, that's right, sorry. This one. Perfect. And then the... I heard a zombie. Oh, there's one up there. Okay. Let's just ignore him for now. Um, left rear seat. And the driver's seat. There we go. Alright. Mechanics is leveled up now. First things first. Let's go drive up to... I don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. Let's go drive to the white car. I'm going to try and use the taxi to nudge it so I can get access to the hood in order to get some stuff there. 
but uh, we'll see how that goes. And we can come down to this truck, and we can remove the engine, the one that was uh, green down there. Okay. Not gonna ram it from that side. Gonna get near it carefully. Oh, wait, there we go. Oop. Oh, this is gonna work very well. I'm gonna try to get it out now. See if I can get in front of it without doing anything weird. No. Fuck. Come on, man. I can't disassemble this fucking thing either. The stupid fucking fence here. Well, it's siphon gasoline at least. have to transport the gas can back and forth to this thing. I clicked okay, yeah. Did I not click add gasoline? There we go. I think that was everything, yeah. Yeah, okay. Please let me take it away. It won't let me. What if I jump the fence? And then try to do it from this side here. Oh, I jump it again to... Oh, let me do it. Nice. It tried to anyway. Let's put the empty gas can we have in here, too. Light bulbs. Actually, you know these light bulbs? Throw them on the ground. These are shit light bulbs. Okay. Um. So if I jump the fence first, and then say uninstall, it lets me do it, yeah? Looks like it. Okay. Now, let's uh, take engine parts. Can't believe I have to do this so jankily. Now, can I repair the engine? I can. Okay. What happens when I do repair the engine? Luckily, they're just generic engine parts, so whatever. It repairs it to seven with... Oh my god, however many engine parts I have is how much it repairs it by? Fuck, dude. It gave me seven engine parts from almost a 100% engine, dude. Oh my god. That's so fucked, man. Okay. Well... Fine. Let's uninstall the gas tank. Fuck, that thing's heavy. Do I fit in here? No. 
up in the other seat, though. All right, so now we have tires. Uh, tr I, I can't take the trunk out, yeah? I can just repair the trunk. Um, we have the driver's seat, the glove box, the radio, which we're not going to deal with the radio or the headlights. Um, okay, front right tire. trunk, which is going to do that. It looks like I can only take one tire, huh? Okay. If that's the case... I'm just going to uninstall this stuff here. Okay. Okay. So, and then we're just going to leave that truck alone for now. We need engine parts. That's the main thing. We're gonna have to do what we can to get engine parts. Do I have more sterilized bandages? I do not. Well, the non-sterilized bandage is better than a dirty bandage. Let's head down to the green one of those vehicles. Which I couldn't remove stuff from before because it was too difficult for me. I'm just going to leave the car running. Got him. Let's go. Press shift plus W to start cruise control speed. Oh, that's cool. I was wondering if there was cruise control before. All oh, right, those I couldn't take the engine out of. They were too uh, messed up. Same with those ones. I think the cars that have been in a wreck, I can't take the engine parts from, so. All right, class, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna try to park here without hitting my thing. Right. Are, are those lights on? Oh my God, they're on. They've been on this whole fucking time, which means the battery's probably really low. So I can repair the engine on this guy. And let's take a look real quick. How's the trunk space on this now that we've repaired the trunk space? 80, okay. We can carry a, quite a lot of parts in this truck, which is what we're probably going to do. And then when we're done with the truck, we can scrap it, since it's also heavy duty, and put it into my other truck, right? That's probably what we're gonna end up doing here, so. 
I think I can still move the truck. It's just going to not be very happy with me. All the time. We're going to put it here, and then we'll start to repair the, uh, the engine when it's daylight out. Oh, I got to close the door. Okay, let's eat. First of all, empty gas can. All that stuff. I did turn this off, right? I did not. It's just been idling. Cool. All right, let's just go ahead and repair it while we wait now. Um, okay, so. We know we need engine parts. Um, I don't think we're gonna have to worry too much about doors. The, that's a front window, not a windshield. The muffler should be fine. I think all that muffler does is just make it um it, it, it makes it so it's not as loud right pretty sure the windshield and the battery are probably going to be fried in it after what we did battering a bunch of stuff so the battery's going to go in here the windshield's going to go in here I'm gonna grab out two light bulbs for the front lights because those are definitely going to need to be replaced. Um, let's bring the tire pump because we'll probably need to, possibly need to puff up the tires a bit. Um, grab our engine parts here. Our engine parts here. Engine parts here. We'll need a hood. The hood was uh, getting a little bit feisty as last we saw it. Yep. 17 engine parts, which means that's going to be 17%. Oh, man. Well, luckily, I think we have more still, but... What do we got in the trunk here? We got a tire. I don't know what's damaged on it. I don't think the tires and stuff are damaged, but it never hurts to just take one down there. More heavy duty stuff. Their engine parts. I don't think any of that stuff is fitting here anymore. Okay. Let's check how much. Uh, this battery had 41%. Yeah, that's not great. We'll we'll swap it with this one. I'll take the shittier battery, please. Not the shittier battery. That hood. That hood. You know what? Let's just drop this hood on the ground. Same with this. Never mind. Put this hood in there.
right, let me grab out the rest of the uh, engine parts that I think I have in these. There are some. Hmm, I guess I didn't. Kind of unfortunate. So when we had a uh, few more than that, let's hop back in here. Windshield. This stuff. The ninety nine percent gas tank. Very nice. Okay. Um, you're right, I forgot I had that thing still. What was the windshield that I had here? It was 42%. Yeah, not great. Let's take that. Let's put that in there. Excuse me? Take it out. Put that in there. There we go. I'll go ahead and store the rest of the stuff that we scavenged out here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alarm. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. So. I had sort of wanted to repair the engine a bit. But... I really, really did not realize that the amount of engine parts is the percent. Right now it has 6%. Um, I'm going to take half of these engine parts. And I'm going to try and repair this. We're at 6% now, and that should go up to 7, went up to 17. Yeah, because that was 11 engine parts, right. Okay. Okay. Well, at least it's not six now, so I don't think we should have too many problems as long as we're not hitting a bunch of shit. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and transcribe our new stats into our journal. Because we actually made the uh, mechanics. There we go. And let's head upstairs to refill our water bottles. We will um, clean our bandage. We have here fill, empty bottle. Uh, let's drink. Have a quick smoke. Then am I able to sleep right now? Experiencing too much pain, but the option is there. So if I take some sleeping pills. set out for it now. This will be a bit of a longer video since we uh, are going to plan on doing it all now. But uh, we're going to sleep. Right, so now we're well rested. It's around noon. Let's go down here. We'll eat and then we'll take a little extra food just, just in case here. Alright. Let's take... half. I don't know how hungry we're going to really get, but ideally I'd like to do that. Okay, so we have our medical supplies, we have food, water, we have all the car parts I think we're going to need. Let's get going. So what we can do while we're heading down there 
Because we couldn't take stuff before, remember. Um, at least too much stuff before. From the vehicles in terms of car parts and their engine parts. We can now, whenever we see a car that we're passing on the highway or whatnot, we can uh, take a car part from them. But we're going to stop at the gas station first, fuel this baby up so it's ready to go, and uh, also the gas can in the back that's empty. I think, I think our truck was fine in terms of fuel levels, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. careful about running into zombies and damaging the car further because that would undo all of our hard work getting this baby up and running. We just need more spare parts. As long as we can get to the point where the uh, black van's engine will start, I think we'll be okay. Is this the road to the gas station we sent her on the Oh, we passed the gas station. Actually, no, we did not. That yellow was the Black Rifle Lodge. Gas station should be just up here, actually. Yeah. Right up here. The gas tank should be on my left. So we'll just pull in do that. Alright. Car off. Um, refuel from gas pump. There we go, it's refueled. You know, I'm, I'm not going to even fuel the gas can. I am, however, going to take the engine. This guy, so I need uh, I can do that. Yeah. All right, hello there, black car. I, would you uh, want to give me your your engine parts by chance? Five, not the greatest, but five percent we wouldn't have had before. We'll try and do that as we go. Um, there was one more black car down this way. I think we want to grab. I'll see those police cars down there. I'm going to do it. engine parts. It says I can. What about the other one? I think those... didn't really see how many I got before, but we have 18 now at least. Alright. Rock and roll. I don't remember turning the vehicle off when I got there. Okay. Let's check the map to make sure I know where I'm going here. We're going just straight south, and then we're turning to that location. The truck keeps, like, stalling out, guys. This is not good. I think what we'll do when we get to the, uh, the burnt out cars, I'm going to go across so that way we uh, have the car, this truck, anyway, on the other side where we want to go, and then 
like down here, will be over on this side, right? And then once it's across the mess of things, we'll go backtrack and take all the engine parts from all the cars that are still kicking there, except for the red one, because that one is something we can use. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe it's not even worth doing that. Maybe I do just take apart the red car and ignore that it exists, because there's no real reason for me to take it. It's just a little red car, and we can only drive one vehicle at a time. I would have to literally walk down here to take it, which I don't really want to do. Let's back it up a little bit further so we're a little bit closer here. Alright, good enough. Engine off. We're stepping out. Hitting the road. Back. Oh, we're moving. I'm gonna... Oh, I have to stand still when I eat? Is that how it is? At least when I start eating, I guess. Okay. Ugh. Not the greatest, but it is one engine part from that. Okay. Wait, did it not even give me any engine parts, or did I fail? I guess I failed and it just critical hit on it and decided to krill itself. Okay. Take engine parts. Got another one part. Can't take that because it's too low. What about this black truck up here that I almost walked right past because I didn't register it. Ooh, this one's nice. Our key is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's remedy that solution, shall we? That's what I think about your car key required nonsense. Good sir. Thank you for the five parts. I believe there's just these two cars up here left. And then there's the ones that are on the other side of, you know, things. Take engine parts. One more part. These probably aren't going to yield us anything of interest. Oh, this one's a little bit better. Okay, we got two from that. Not bad. All right, let's head up to the northern section, because I think there was at least one car there. Let's go ahead and eat another tomato. Oop. We'll start with the... I guess we'll start with the... The ones up here. I don't think I'm going to get into the blue car. It, uh... Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe I can. Surprisingly, the, uh... Blue car is actually the one that I can get into, huh? Let's move the stuff into my backpack. I'm starting to get a little overweight, and I don't like that. How about this car? Know what you got? One engine part. And then this van. Probably gonna be like, you can't take us because you don't have key. Apparently I can. I really do not understand why some vehicles are like, no, you need a key. And others are like, yeah, go ahead and just take me out, homie. Hold on. I think this is heavy duty. Right? So if I take the rear windshield out of this. I can then put it in the truck that's down there, right? My truck. I'm just gonna check and see if I can. I can! Let's do it! 
Not that it's really gonna do much, but. That's rock and roll. So uh, if we continue down this way, uh, basically the next right on the main road we can take, if we wanna do. But remember, we need to remember, okay, me, there's that dang four-way intersection with all the light posts in the middle of it. The last time, I mean, every single time we've gone through that, we have literally screwed ourselves by overreacting and swerving into one of the poles. There was also another vehicle in front of us somewhere that caused us to swerve and hit one of those. Maybe it was the one we just passed, but we need to be careful. Luckily, we're a Sunday driver, so we drive slow as hell. We eat a tomato while we're going so we can keep our hunger up and I don't have to, when we actually get there, be like, oh, I can't kill enemies because my stupid frickin' hunger's down and I'm only able to do 10% of my normal strength. All that nonsense. I think our deep laceration is uh, healing up a little bit more since we haven't had dirty bandages yet. Oh, man. I think our first objective when we get to our truck is we're going to fix the engine and then get it somewhere safer than in the middle of the woods so we can fix the rest of the stuff that's wrong with it. Uh, because we all know how badly things went last time we were there, right? Okay. Is this the street I want to turn down? It is. Let's turn this off. I'm going to come over here and take engine parts out of this guy. Which I can't because it's dead. Okay. Fair. Yeah, this... This blue truck that we're using now, I was gonna abandon anyway on my property. Just like that, that other taxi that was in this poor condition. So I'm not really too... Concerned... That we're not gonna get this back with us, right? The other truck had... I think 120 or so, experience, not experience, like carry capacity. So it was very good by what it did. We just had to be, we just need to be extremely careful and avoid the zombies in the road with this truck. Because if we hit anything, the engine's gonna go, no, and then we're gonna have to walk all the way there. I say that, but I probably would end up walking um, all the way over there, which would not be great. Is that, is that a propane tank in the middle of the road? Is that what this is? Huh. It's barely got anything in it, so I'm not going to take it. It's not, not worth the effort. I do want to check the map while I'm here now. So I, I guess as long as we keep going down this path, there's the second right, which will take us to the gas station. And then the third right will take us to the path that our car's on, I think. It is just so peaceful when you're a Sunday driver. Like, remember how fast Excuse me, how fast we were going um, before. And we were like constantly in a state of panic because we were just gunning it and going like 90 miles an hour. It was the worst. I think I like Sunday Driver. Like, even though it's, it, it does take a couple of minutes to get from where you're going to where you're at, you know. I think that's fine. I think it's all right. Ain't 
no problems but a thing. Man, is there a radio in this motherfucker? The radio's probably long dead now, though. We're gonna come up here. Oops, did not mean to hit them. Luckily, I think it was with the side and not the front of the car. Have we even gone past one road yet? I don't think we have. There are so many zombies around here for some reason. I think that's the first turn off. Yeah. I'm not gonna get out here and deal with this car right now. Uh, I will, however, equip my machete, just in case. We don't forget. And why not? Let's, let's just leisurely eat a tomato as we continue up this road. We had just gone past the one random road that led up to that farm thing up there. I think it was a farm. It was kind of hard to tell since it was night when we were up the last time. so many zombies just standing around. Why are they all in the freaking road? Shit. Thank God for Sunday Driver. Uh-oh. We're gonna go down here now, and then up there. Whoop. Okay, I see the rest stop signs, and there's a rest stop to the right. So the next turn goes to the rest stop. But we don't want that one, we want the next one. Right? It is, yeah, the next one right here. This little loop de loop. We found it. Our truck. I'm gonna park here. I'm gonna get out. And uh, are we too anxious? No, we're pretty fine. But you know what? Why don't we smoke a cigarette as we walk so that the zombies can't hit us? But that way, at least we will not be getting a little more anxious. Let's go ahead and eat a tomato. Okay. Do it to it, boys. Get one there. One here. Let's go. Yep. Here we go. A quick look around. Good. Got him. You assholes. Oof. We're doing work. Nice. I'm gonna try and stay in the middle of the road here. That way they can't just sneak through the trees and get me real quick. Dang foliage. Oh, I hate nature. Now, come here, sir. I'll finish you off. Oh no. Oh my god, come on. I didn't get bit or anything there, right? Thank God. Imagine after that, like, just kill fest we had up there, one lone zombie is all it took, and I was just like, got shit on, right? I can 
keep getting the fucking range wrong. Okay. I don't see any more zombies in the... Never mind, I do see some zombies in the immediate vicinity. up to 16% now so we can drive it. I'm going to grab out the rest of the engine parts we have in here. Yep. And we'll finish repairing it. Let's see what we got down here. No one's following us quite yet. Is that a zombie that I just saw there? No? Okay. Air engine. Okay. We're yellow again. Now. battery's dead because the lights were on my left. Fuck, okay. Luckily, we brought a battery with us. This is perfect. Like I said, we just want to get what we can. We can move it out of here. They don't like, like I said, being surrounded by these trees is not great. I'm just going to drop this bad battery here. Okay. We should be able to turn it on and leave now. Just kind of jack back on the trailer, but that's fine. Okay. So I am just going to go into the parking lot up here. where we've already kind of cleared things out previously. I'm gonna go like right here. Then we're gonna go kill these zombies that are coming up, grab our other truck, bring it up here, and we're gonna start taking parts and uh, doing what we can to forget that I fucking don't have a machete on me. Oh fuck, too soon. What? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Excuse me? Are you, like, actually fucking kidding me right now? Are you actually kidding me right now? Because of one whiffed swing, we died. One whiffed swing, y'all. Well, whatever. I was kind of getting tired of recording that place anyway. So anyway, if I would not have whiffed that first swing, or I don't know, I, I like walked through one of them or something, however that worked, the, the combat's kind of janky in this game, I've noticed. But uh, anyway, I think we will wrap up that little series there. The What, what have I been calling the series again? Um, a noob plays Zomboid, or just trying to survive. I think it was just trying to survive is what I was calling it before. So, I think next time, we're going to do a custom sandbox with our mods on. We're going to go next. Um, what is this? Whatever. Um, I'll, I'll look and see which one of these is the more dense locations. And then we'll uh, try to start there and uh, do what we can. Yeah, try to, you know, survive. And we'll actually do like an actual permadeath kind of world where if we die there, we, we die for good. 
Uh, I'll probably be playing my other one off screen or off, off recording uh, because I, I spend a lot of work doing that, so why not? I'll just have to, uh, you know, mess around. Uh, I'll just mess around on that save on my own time, and the next save we have will be streaming. So thank you all for watching this journey with me here. And next time, like I said, we'll be starting something new. So, bye-bye for now.